I'm Kobe. On today's show, we'll be talking about Minnesota mother, former Kennesaw State student, and a former Brazilian finance minister. So let's get the show started. Sandra Gronzi Rookie, a 50 year old mother from Minnesota, has opted for prison time instead of probation for hiding her children. Guana and Samantha Rookie for over two years from their father and the rest of the world. Rookie has been involved in one of the strangest cases in Minnesota. The mother has sparked a national debate on parental rights. Some believe the parents should do whatever it takes to protect their child, include breaking the law, while others say they should respect the judge's decision. Now to weather. Today's weather, mostly sunny, highs in the in mid-70s to upper 80s, north winds 10 miles per hour or less. Tonight, clear lows in the upper 50s to mid-60 light winds. Saturday, Sunday, highs in the mid-70s to upper 80s light winds. Saturday night, mostly clear lows in the upper 50s to mid-60 light winds. Now at the World News of Matthew. Former Brazilian Finance Minister Guido Mantega has been arrested in connection with the sprawling corruption scandal at the state-run oil giant Petrobras. Petrobras. Mantega has served as Brazil's finance minister for more than eight years in two Workers' Party administrations. He started in the post with former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva and, and left at the end of the first term of former President Dilma Rousseff. World Fat of the Day, Pedro Jose Domingo de la Calzada Manuel Maria Lascarain Paredes was a Mexican politician who served as the 34th president of Mexico for about 45 minutes. On February 19th, 13, 1913, the shortest presidency in the history of the world. That's all for World News Now on PSA. She won't graduate with her friends. She'll never be a teacher. Her parents will never watch her walk down the aisle on her wedding day. All of this because of one decision. When you're a student, an athlete, with friends, you're at the top of your game. Yo, hey, what's up? Hey. You think a drink or two won't matter, and you decide, you're good. Welcome to Sports, I'm Matthew. I'm Tanny. On Tuesday, the college football world produced one of the most salacious rumors we've, we've heard in years. According to reports, the turmoil at USC had gotten so intense that freshman offensive tackle EJ Price punched coach Clay Helm in the face. Price is one of a handful of players expected to transfer out of the program. Yesterday, we had a volleyball game against Grayson came out with... Oh, gosh, I didn't get that. We came out with a win. Today we have a football game against Grace at 7.30. So Teddy, what do you think it will take to beat Grace? Well, the defense is doing a good job and we need a stronger defense tonight and I think we pulled a win tonight and the whole team never gave up the whole season. So, yeah. That's all for Sports Night on Lunch with Hannah. For today's lunch is hot dog, potato rounds, coleslaw, fresh veggies, fresh oranges. In line two is hot ham and cheese, steel spears, baked potato rounds, fresh baby carrots, applesauce. For Monday's breakfast, in line one is cereal and pop tart. Monday's breakfast, in line two is sausage, biscuit, and gravy. That's all for lunch and breakfast, not a local news. So I'm taking my time on my ride. A 
former Kennesaw State University student is facing felony charges for allegedly hacking into the school's computer system to change grades. Police say Chase Hughes, 19, hacked into the system in May and altered his own grades and the grades for some of his friends. Kennesaw State Police began an investigation after receiving reports of the hacking. It started when a professor received an email from the university's computer system that there had been a grade change that he did not make. The professor alerted the school officials who then told the police. Now to our sponsors. Today's announcement. The Cougar Up Reward Drawing and Homecoming Court event is today. The spaghetti dinner you can pick up between 5 and 8 today at the elementary school. The dance after the game is sponsored by the seniors as well. Classroom forms need to be turned in by Monday. September 26th is Tennessee College App Week and FASFA. September 26th is Picture Retake. Host of dues are to be in by the 30th. ACT Retake is October 22nd. We still have the email for any videos or pictures you'd like to put on t CBTV. That's all we have for today's show. So I'll see you Monday in CBTV News and 9.